There's your topper. Look at that, guys. What's up, fellas? We're back out here at White Sands. This is take two of the tilting hearth furnace. We're going to be melting some copper to proof the system. This thing has been designed to melt brass, so copper ought to let us know if we're there or not. I'm going to go ahead and swap this nozzle out. I could tell it was desperate for more fuel, and I don't like running these systems over 300 PSIs because then they become leak prone. All right, so I took that piece of coil pipe out. It had water in it, so there's four pounds less in here. But nonetheless, it's quite the satchel of copper. Should have left all these over here. I don't want this metal to pour out on us. Hopefully all the metal from these stays over on this side. guys it has some serious freaking power now i'm talking jet engine we're just warming up slow i don't want to push it this is the four gallon per hour nozzle i see green flame we might be melting already oh man look at that green flame look at that green flame dude pretty tough all right, uh, it needs more air, that's why it's loud. I better get my welding helmet, what do I do? I guess I'll unplug it if it starts shooting metal out. Yep, it's shooting metal out. I need to turn it down. It is super powered now, I need a little more air though. I'm gonna have to get some gear on. This is serious. We're at about 300 PSI's on the fuel. The four gallon per hour nozzle though, so we're probably gonna run out of fuel quick here. Stop smoking a little bit. Now that everything's heating up. Look at that, guys. All right, I think I'll just narrate over the curse words. I have my job site mouth on here. When I'm at work, I tend to have some pretty foul language when things are in the heat of the moment. So essentially, we did a copper run tonight to proof the system. The customer wanted to melt brass with this machine. I only had 17 pounds of brass on hand, and I had about 36 pounds of copper, so I felt like this would be more valid of a test for sure because we're melting more metal and it has a higher melting point. So, things could have went a little better. I've, I feel like um, I need to learn how to set this thing on high. I don't have an internal thermal couple hooked up. I do have one that can do it, but I haven't had time to hook it up. There's just not enough hours in the day. I've got too much going on. So, we're gonna have to figure out what is the hottest setting, and I would imagine we can do this in about 15 minutes once that's achieved. But nonetheless, that's where we're at. Thing melted. It's too bright to see anything. Um, I got a mess going on, I gotta shut this down. 
Okay, so you can see all the metal crap that was in those pieces. It's still in there. That's what's laying all over the sidewall. So it did kind of filter that out. Man, that is so hot. It set me on fire. Let me get the thermal gun. I had to stop pouring because I burned a hole in the bucket. And I knew I was going to start a fire there real quick. So I did have a piece of stainless steel at the bottom of the thing. Dump it out. That. Oh, wow. That thing is so heavy I can't even pick it up because it hurts. There's a bunch of little sharp spots. Jeez. That is massive. Big old massive glob of copper. So, it was kind of a botch test in that regards. I didn't know how far down I was going to have to tilt the furnace to get the copper to even come out. And that hole in the bucket pretty much meant I had to stop pouring. There's still a couple of pieces left in the furnace, but this is most of it. Big massive blob of... Looks like there's some brass in here too. So maybe some of this is alloyed from those plasma tips. Crazy.